Hey there everyone, this is DW96 from GroovyPost.com and today I'm going to bring you a very quick uh, tutorial on Photoshop teaching you how to use Content Aware Fill in CS5. So open up Photoshop. I have prepared an image with a couple of balloons um, and today we're going to use Content Aware Fill for its uh, three primary usages. So let's zoom in into this balloon that I told you about. Uh, first we're going to pick up the rectangular marquee tool then we're going to click and drag simply quickly select our balloon you're going to right click select fill make sure in the use drop down menu we have content aware blending mode is normal and opacity is set to 100 percent now we just click ok and in a matter of moments bam the balloon is gone and you can see that photoshop actually does a pretty good job zooming in or zooming out you will see absolutely no traces of any sort of digital replacement of elements in the image. Um, now let's pick up the spot healing brush tool and make sure it's set to content aware up here in the source sampling type. You can increase your brush with the right bracket key uh, and now I'm just going to start painting over this gr uh, grass here. In a matter of moments uh, you can see Photoshop is going to do its job pretty well I might add. Right, zooming out, you see still really no traces of digital editing whatsoever. And now we're going to do perhaps one of the biggest things content where Phil was made for. We're going to go to Image, Canvas Size, and I'm going to choose uh, in to work with pixels because that's most comfortable for me. Uh, and we're going to select a width of 5000 to increase the width of the image. Uh, now we're going to pick up the um, rectangular marquee tool and we're going to select the add to selection button the second button right up here uh, and now we're simply going to start dragging out and marking these two selections with uh, transparency in them now make sure you keep just a tiny bit of the image in there too this will help Photoshop sample a little bit better uh, you can see just like this I'm going to keep a little bit of a bigger part in the image just like that I'm going to right click select fill and we're going to keep the same settings and click OK and uh, now we're going to have to wait a while and there you have it you can see Photoshop did a pretty good job um, it had some problems here uh, on uh, the right side and the sky a little bit but that can very easily be fixed uh, simply by uh, reselecting these two areas like so for example and then choosing to fill content aware again just like that. You see very easy and for the sky here, the little problem with the sky, we can uh, do the same process again. There you have it. So that's about it. Uh, these are the three primary usages for using content aware fill in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for more video tutorials on Photoshop. Got to admit, it's